So a lot of the time when you're making arguments and reading arguments, you're going to find yourself in a situation where you disagree with other people. And then the question is, how should you approach those people and how should you approach the conversation when you disagree, especially if you're offended? Because it's very easy to get offended, especially if you're talking about politics or religion or some other kind of controversial topic. And whenever you're engaging in any kind of argument, we suggest that you practice what we call the charity principle. So let me explain what that means. So uh, you probably heard this phrase before, defund the police. And I don't know how you feel about it, but it definitely carries a lot of political charge. So you might feel very strongly about it, either positively or negatively. And if you don't, well, I can promise you, you definitely know some people who feel very strongly about this phrase. Now, one thing to notice is that there's actually more than one way that we could interpret the phrase defund the police. It's not exactly clear what exactly it means. So there's actually a more and a less charitable way that we can interpret the phrase. Now, the more charitable way is to try to give it the benefit of the doubt. Try to ask, how could someone who's very smart and very good person believe this or make this claim? And if so, what would they say? So here's an example of an uncharitable interpretation. This is a way that we should not understand this phrase, defund the police. An uncharitable interpretation would be something like, we should eliminate all police funding. And the reason that's uncharitable is it's just not a very plausible claim. It's very extreme. There are a few people who do believe that we should literally just get rid of all police funding. But a lot of the time when people say defund the police, they're not trying to say something that extreme. They're trying to say something like, we should reallocate some portion of police funding to social programs. Now, this is a more charitable interpretation of the phrase defund the police because it's a lot more likely to be a true statement that a lot of people could get behind. So if you were to give someone the benefit of the doubt when they said defund the police, this would be a more charitable interpretation. So that's one of the moves that you make when you're practicing the charity principle is to give people the benefit of the doubt. Now, another thing you're going to do is just read and listen carefully. Try to actually understand where other people are coming from instead of just trying to jump in to see where you're already right. Now, we've already said that you want to interpret statements in the way that makes the most sense in context and is most likely to be true. And then when you do disagree with people, try to disagree with precision and care. Now, being charitable doesn't mean that you shouldn't disagree. It just means that when you do disagree, you want to be really precise about what exactly you disagree about. And you also want to be super respectful of the person that you're disagreeing with. Let's do another example. So let's say you're scrolling on Instagram and you see your friend posted an article that you disagree with politically. So there's some options of ways that you could respond to this, right? So which of the following is an example of practicing the charity principle? You could assume that your friend agrees with every point in the article. You could post about how biased the article is without reading the whole thing. You could ask your friend to clarify why they posted the article. You could say that the article is offensive in order to disprove it, or you could unfollow your friend. So you tell me, which of those do you think is the most charitable response? Well, I don't know about you, but I think the most charitable way to react is to ask your friend to clarify why they posted the article. In fact, it's almost always a really charitable move to ask a question to clarify what does someone mean by something? Because a lot of times when people disagree, it's not so much that they actually disagree, it's just that they're misinterpreting or misunderstanding each other. So it's a good tool to have in your toolkit to just ask someone to clarify what they mean about something. Now, it's definitely not charitable to just assume something without any evidence, especially if it's negative. So try to always assume best intent or assume positive intentions. And then uh, try not to make assumptions about what other people mean unless you ask them. Now, uh, it's also not very charitable to post about how biased something is. And it's, it's not a good idea to post about anything if you haven't read it all the way through. Um, it's not charitable to say that something is offensive in order to disprove it. Now, you're encouraged to say if you do think something's offensive. And also, you can definitely say if you think something is false. But don't try to use the fact that you're offended as a reason to believe that a claim is false. Um, that's not only uncharitable, it's also a logical fallacy. So try to give a better reason why it's false than simply the fact that it offends you. And then finally, it's probably not charitable to unfollow your friend, um, assuming they actually are your friend, right? So um, the best move here would be to just try to ask a clarifying question. Maybe get a little more context and try to see where your friend is coming from. Okay, so why practice charity though? Because it's kind of hard, right? Like, I don't know about you, but I actually like, I really like being right a lot of the time. I kind of want to like win arguments and kind of get my way. Um, so it can be a little tricky to kind of step back and try to understand other, where other people are coming from. A couple of reasons though to practice charity. One is that you might learn something. I mean, chances are that I don't currently have the bucket of all true beliefs. And so I've actually had experience with listening to other people's arguments who disagreed with me. And I actually got to learn something. And it's, it's pretty cool to learn stuff and even change my mind. Um, it actually feels good to change your mind, um, even though it kind of is unpleasant in the moment. In the long run, I'd rather have true beliefs. 
Um, people also want to talk to you. And the reason for that is that people like to talk to people who listen to them. So if you listen carefully to other people, they're going to want to talk to you. And that's kind of nice. And then finally, you'll be more persuasive to others. So I've actually had my mind changed by people that I could tell when they were listening to me that they really wanted to know what I had to say, then when they had something to say, I was more likely to listen to them and I found them more persuasive. So by the same token, if you listen carefully to other people and practice charity, you'll be more persuasive to them when you try to make your points. So those are just some reasons why you might wanna practice charity. And speaking of practice, we've got some practice exercises for you and I hope you enjoy them.